So Brian's wrapped around my, uh, my thigh. Maybe I sprawled here from uh, a single leg or something like that. Or, you know, we got here however we did. I'm gonna make sure I have a wizard. My, my right arm is around his left arm and I'm cupping my knee. His head is cupping my knee, okay? Or knee or thigh. Um, if I can cross face here, I'll cross face, but his head is tuck, tucked so tight I can't really hit a, do the cross face. And sometimes the cross face, you know, balance wise, it, it can feel a little weird. So uh, in this situation, I'm gonna post with my hand. I can't, my, my wrist is messed up, so I can't, I'm gonna just post on my, the, my fingers like this, okay? But post with, your, post, with, post with your whole palm, obviously, all right? I'm gonna angle a little bit, so we're sort, I'm sort of perpendicular to him. My hips are facing his head, and I'm just gonna powerfully kick back with my right leg. Notice I still have his arm. I still have my uh, wizard, basically. And I use that so I can make space and bring my knee into his armpit, okay? So we're in this position. From here, I'm gonna drop low and put my ear on his scapula as I put my hand on the corner of his head and lock the figure four, okay? One movement. From here, as soon as I touch his head, I'm gonna flex both of my wrists, flex both of my wrists. And I'm gonna make his forehead touch his left kneecap. I'm gonna ball him up like that. Now, I have a choice here. Um, I can drop this knee and step up with the other leg if I need the power, or I can stay on both knees. It just depends on what you need. If I need more power, I'll step up with this leg. But in either case, sorry, Brian. <laughs> I'm gonna straighten my right elbow and, and roll him over. I'm gonna bring my head close to his chest as I come to side control, and I slide my right hand very deep. Okay, then I have him in side control. 